Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you a new feature of M Sound Factory that has to do with wavetables. This is particularly about wavetable export, or I guess creating new wavetables. This feature basically allows you to use the output of M Sound Factory to create a new wavetable. Before you'd have to actually, you know, export it into your DAW, then export it into a wave, then re import it back into M Sound Factory. This gets rid of all that. You can just turn it directly into a wavetable, which saves you lots of time. And then you can share those wavetables, reuse them, etc. So I'm going to show you how you can use this. So we have a generator here. The first thing I'm going to do is just use this wavetable 256. I'm going to put it over here and we're not even going to do anything with it. I'm going to disable this lane. This is just going to be here for later. Now let's actually create a sound that maybe you might want to use. I have an oscillator here just for saw wave. What we're going to do now is let's use the turbo filter. Before I showed you how to create some kind of like formants. So let's create something like that. Now I'm not sure exactly what we want to create. Maybe a sound. Move it down a little bit lower. Okay. And let's try something else similar. Let's copy this. We're going to paste it here. And let's try a different sound. So we have this one and this one. Let's try combining them together with a ratio like this. Oh, let me try to steal the side chain here. And uh, I'm trying to think which would be the, the best character amount for you. Uh, okay. And so we move that over. I can mess with these to see. I'm not sure exactly which one has the smoothest transition. That didn't seem right. I wanted to do that. So let's take this and let's try attack one. Let's move this here. Set a time, maybe 500 milliseconds or so. Make sure we turn up the depth. I think I need a longer time down here. Let's bend this. So we have something that's just saying like, ow, ow, ow. If that's what you want, that's cool. That's what I want. So what we're going to do is take this and now convert it to a wavetable. That's what we're talking about. After we have this, we'll be able to use this over and over again, and we don't have to go through all this stuff trying to tweak everything. So now that we have that, we're going to go to this wavetable 125. I'll pop it out here so you can see it. Now, it by default, it's at four waves. We're going to move this all the way up to one or 256, just in case we need that. Sometimes you don't, but this is just, just in case. We're gonna go to the menu here, cause this is where everything is. You see all the waves here. We're gonna take it and it says, generate from plugin output. This is what we want. So we'll take this, click it. You see, we have all these options here. For the most part, you can leave them at default. Uh, if you wanna know more about what all of them do, just look here. Uh, we're gonna use this note, uh, note 33, the A1. And I think everything is just good from here. We're going to click generate. Boom. Now you see we have something here in our wavetables. We're going to turn everything we had off. And now let's hear what this wavetable sounds like.
Now, the problem is you have this uh sound at the end, and this is taking up most of the wave table. So what we can do is just get rid of most of these by just pulling the wave count down. Move it down until you see, okay, this is a slight difference here. And try here. Now, let's try scanning through it. And we can do the same thing as we did before. Just put attack one on there and see how this sounds. I think it probably should have the attack as linear as opposed to bend down before, but that's just like a smart, uh, uh, whatever you want. You don't have to do that. So now that we have that, if we think this is perfect, what we can do is just export it and we can save this for later or we could, you know, give it to a friend or whatever you want to do with it. So you can make your own custom wavetables with this very easily and you can do you know, like multiple vowels with it. I forgot how many different vowels I did for the format, but you have quite a few. And so you can make whatever you want and you don't have to do vowel sounds. I'll give you another example here. So let's make another one. and. For this, make sure when we're doing this, we have this wavetable 256 off because if we have this lane going, that's going to go to the output and that's going to you know mix with everything else. We don't want that. So just turn it off for now. I'm going to get rid of these filters here. I have this ratio, but let's turn this off for a second. Let's try something different. I'm going to use this filter and let's try harmonic swap. Oh, make sure we turn the lane on here. We're going to turn the gain up. Make sure the character's up. I'll turn the output down a bit. So let's make something we might be able to use for like an evolving pad or something. So let's modulate that. We're going to go into the gain and we're going to use an LFO on that. Make sure it goes up and down and moves it like fairly slowly, like maybe like 0.5 or so like this. And yeah, let's see, maybe about 20 or so decibels up and down. Okay, that's cool. We could do some other stuff with the ratio again, but actually let's let's not use that. Let's go into the effects section. So in here you can do effects on it. Let's try something like a phaser. Now you see here we have like some kind of like stereo width. The stereo width won't really make it through the wavetable process, so we don't want that. It'll be mono. So let's just make this mono here so we can hear what's happening. Turn this rate down. Now, I think this is kind of like an interesting sound, so let's try this. We're going to do the same thing again go to this wavetable 125. I'll move it all the way up just in case. And I'm going to use generate from plugin output. Boom. Okay. Turn everything off. Uh, I'll turn the effects section off too. Now let's listen to this. We'll probably need to put this on an LFO as well, just so it sounds correct. Move that down a bit. Don't want it to go too fast. And. Make sure the lane's on. So it is kind of going fast for me, but also you hear like some kind of like, I don't know, if like glitching or like some rough spots in there, which we don't want. If you hear those kind of like clicks and those types of things, there's a way we can get rid of it. So the first thing I recommend is using zero fundamental phase. This is a little bit 
less destructive, I think. So uh, this one I think can help. If it doesn't, we'll just use zero phase. Let's see if this works. And eh, still not smooth enough for me, so let's try zero phase. I think we're getting like pretty close to like smooth interpolation here. Uh, so we have everything like how we want it. I'll move this up and play the chord. So now that we have this, it's a wavetable and we can do all the things we could do with a normal wavetable like pulse width modulation. You have all those weird things like bend and that type of thing. If you want to do that type of modulation, and of course you don't need to do that, you can use the unison here. But one thing that still just doesn't really sit well with me is everything is moving in the same time, and I don't really want that. Or actually, not even same time, same phase. We can set this LFO phase to random, so that way each note will start in a different position in this wavetable. And I think that gives a better sound for the wavetable if you want a pad, like an evolving pad. If you want even more kind of like randomness to this, you can go into the rate. We can click here. We can click random one. Make sure it's random for each target. And then just like make sure it's up and down and just move this a bit. So that way each finger or each note you're playing just moves at a slightly different rate through that LFO. There you go. Actually, that needs to be slowed down a lot. I can move that even slower. I think it'll sound better. There you go. So if you slap a low pass filter on there, you'll be in business. And of course, you can take this, export it, use it for later, share it with your friends, whatever you want to do. Uh, so this is a great new addition to M Sound Factory. It allows you to create wavetables really easily, I think. So uh, feel free to use that whenever you want. One word of caution, though, is when you're using any type of effects or things, it'll generally work, but... If you're shifting the pitch a lot with uh, whatever you're doing, it's not going to work. If you're doing something that's inharmonic, the wavetable works only on harmonic sounds because it follows the harmonic series. So any type of like EQ or something or filtering will work. But if I'm using, let's say, the modal, modal filter and I am have a inharmonic sound, it's not going to work well. If I'm using the effect section to like shift the pitch up and down, that's not going to work well. But if you have a sound that follows the harmonic series, like a saw wave, square wave, uh, I guess you use a sine wave. I don't know why, what you're going to do to that, but uh, all those will work well and you can create an interesting wavetable as you saw here. So hopefully this gave you some ideas of things you can do yourself, but of course, experiment with this, have fun. This makes it easier and uh, much more fun to experiment and have fun with wavetables. Hope you have fun too. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions or comments down below and be sure to check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.